a good evening to our YouTube family and to everybody who um, who comes in on YouTube. And, and God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. To my assistant pastor, Pastor Dansby, to First Lady Lanier, and, and, and to all God's children. It's an honor and, and a pleasure of being here in the church house one more time. I am Pastor Jerry A. Lanier of Soul Deliverance Temple, Birmingham. What well, the good news has been told. May we pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for a day that you have made. Thank you for your angels that they kept around the whole entire wide world. Lord, hide me behind, hide me, Lord, behind the shield. And, and, uh, and you come on in, Lord. And these first, amen. We have a good lesson on tonight that God has been uh, toiling with me for all week, and he uh, so he gave it to me, and it's coming from of uh, 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 Matthew chapter chapter nine, starting with the 20, 20, 21 and twenty second verse, and it reads, and suddenly a woman who had a flow of blood for twenty for twenty years. Came from behind and touched the hem of his garment. For she said to herself, "If if I only can touch touch the touch the hem of, of his garment, I should be made well." But Jesus turned around and said, "When let me read that again." But Jesus turned around and and, and and when he said said when he saw her, he said, "Be of good cheer, daughter. Your faith has just made you well." Amen. God told her to be of good cheer, cause her faith. Have made her well. Amen. Uh, today, if I had a few minutes and to teach and preach the word, from reading those scriptures, the body would be God's touch. God's touch. We have issues. We have medical problems. We have problems. And our faith, and, and with our faith and God's touch, everything going to be all right. We have, we go to the doctor sometime, and, and then he'll say, well, keep coming on back. We got to do, we got to do x-rays. You go back. We got to do more x-rays. But by faith, by faith, with God touch, we can be made well. Like, like the lady with the issue of blood. We can be made well. What the lady with the issue of blood says, and suddenly a, a woman who had a flow of blood for 20 years came from behind and touched the hem of his garment. See, when I read that, I got happy. Because this lady went, when she went to doctor after doctor after doctor and spent all, and spent all of her money dealing with doctors. But every doctor she went to didn't know what she was dealing with. They took x-rays, they took blood samples, they took um, samples of urine or whatever. But they couldn't find out what was wrong. Then she heard that Jesus was coming by. She said, if only I could touch the hem 
of his garment. I'll be made well. She didn't want to touch the whole garment. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made well. And, and then it drops down to say, she said to herself, if only, if only I may touch the hem of his garment, I should be made well. We ought to be like the, we ought to, we ought to be like the lady, with the little old lady who had an issue of blood, who had an issue. She had a medical problem. Couldn't doctors couldn't tell her what was going on, but in her mind, she she heard that God was coming by. She heard that the Savior was coming by. She heard that the healer was coming by. And she said, if I can get to Jesus, I don't care what I got to do, but if I can get to Jesus, and I won't, if I can get to Jesus, she said, I can imagine her saying, I'll even run if I can get to Jesus. She started knocking down some walls because she wanted to get to Jesus. And she said, and when I get to Jesus, if I could touch the hem of his garment, I'd be made well. We ought to have that same faith that the, that the lady with the issue of blood. Cause sometimes we have issues. Sometimes we have problems. But if we say if, if, if by faith, if I can only touch the him, we ain't got to touch the whole soul. But if I can only touch the him of his garment, we'll be made whole. See, but our faith got you got to have faith enough to say, I got faith enough to say, if I if I can only touch the him. See, but by faith, we'll be made whole. Other words, but by faith, he'll heal us. If you want to be healed, have faith in God. The little lady, she had faith in God that if she could only touch. See, her faith was so strong, she said, I won't touch nothing but the him. Just at the bottom. She said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made well. And when she touched the hem of his garment, she was healed from the issues of the blood that she had for a long time. She didn't say, doctors, what's wrong? Because the doctor didn't know what was wrong with her. But she heard. Thank you, Jesus. But she heard that the Savior, she heard that Jesus was going to come on by. She heard that the, that the Lord was coming on by. And she said if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I feel good tonight to know that she said, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. But then when you drop down to the 22nd verse, it says, but Jesus turned around and when he saw her, he said, be a good cheer, daughter. Your faith has made you well. Same thing he can tell us. Be a good cheer, daughter or son. Your faith can make you well. Or your faith, by faith, I'll be your solving problem. By faith, I'll be your battle fighter. See, but you got to have faith in God. You got to have that crazy faith to know that God is a good God. You got to know that, that God got that touch that'll make everything all right. But you got to have faith in God. You got to have faith in the Lord. See, the 23rd son say, the Lord is my shepherd. 
See the see the lady knew who Jesus was, but she knew that one day she was gonna get to see Jesus. That's how we ought to be. One day we gonna get to see Jesus. But by faith, Jesus is gonna touch our bodies. By faith, Jesus is gonna make our enemies <coughs> our footstool. But by faith, Jesus is gonna fight our battle. But the lady has faith enough to know that if she touched the hem of his garment, that Jesus will go touch his daughter. And she's gonna be made whole. We need to realize that God is our physician. God is, He's a healer. God is all wrapped up in one. But we got to have faith in God. Our mothers and our fathers told us about God. And our grandmamas and granddaddies try to tell us about God. How they went through something. But one day, we had to make a mark for ourselves. We had to learn that by faith, that we had the Lord, I said to the Lord, touch our bodies. That Lord, touch whatever is wrong with me. Because sometimes we feel sick. But instead of hollering, I'm sick. Say by faith, God is going to touch my body and I'm going to be made well. Like the man that, that the blind man was sitting on, the, he was sitting on the earth of the corner. He was saying, Jesus, where are you? He heard that Jesus was going to walk on by. He said, Jesus, my body, shining armor. He said, Jesus, oh, Jesus. And, and Jesus said, go wash. When the blind man had that much faith, he went and washed. And he was dead when he washed. Jesus touched his eyes and he wasn't blind no more. And he could see his Jesus. He could see uh, the man with the plan. He could see uh, his Savior that healed his eyes. And Jesus said, Take up. He said, Now, you are here, my brother. The light man. Heard that Jesus was coming by and he couldn't walk. But when Jesus touched them old bones and them old bones start to reeling and a rocking, them old bones had a woke up. Them old muscles, they stood up <coughs> and the man Start walking. And he was healed from the bed. That's the kind of God I serve. That's the kind of God that I call on when I need somebody. Call on God because he is the answer. Call on God because he has that what? Special touch. Call on God because he is deliverance. Call on God because he is the healer. Call on God because he can deliver you if you want to be delivered. <coughs> when the man came to Jesus, he saw Jesus. He said, Lord, come with me now. Come my, call my daughter. Is dead. When the man walked out, 
Jesus didn't come on his time. But when Jesus got there, Jesus touched the little girl and she began to open her eyes. That's the kind of God that I serve. He's married, baby. He's the lily of the valley. I heard he's the bright and morning star. And uh, he's the way. Mm. Out of no way. That's Jesus. We got to learn to trust in Jesus. We got to learn to have faith in Jesus. Because God gave us faith. We got to turn our faith on like we do our cause. Start your faith up and watch it work. Glory be to God. Trust in God at all times. Lord is good. And he worthy. Mm. He's worthy. Mm -mm -mm. He's worthy to be praised. You got to do what say, but come by here, Lord. You got to do what they say, Lord, just come by here. Just say, come by here, Lord, because somebody waiting on you, Lord. Mm. To come on by here. Somebody praying, Lord. Please stop by here. Somebody singing, Lord. Just uh, stop by here. Mm. Somebody needs you, Lord. Oh, Lord, eh, stop on by here. Lord, we love you, Lord, eh, so stop by here. Lord, somebody pray you, Lord. Stop on by here. Mm -hmm. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I feel the Holy Spirit in this house tonight. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Woo woo, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, you're good. But thank you, Lord. You were the Jesus. But thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, eh. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that came for a little while. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the word on tonight. Thank you, Lord, for being a good God. Thank you, Lord, for everybody, Lord, that hears our videos, sees our video. Lord, keep them in your care. Thank you, Lord, for everybody all around the world right now, Lord. And then, Lord, thank you for just being there. Have your angels kept around our doorposts. Thank you for my assistant pastor, pastor. Dance me, Lord. Keep on blessing him right now, Lord. Keep on blessing his family right now, Lord. First lady, Lord, keep on blessing her and the girls right now, Lord. And then me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. I'm standing in the need of prayer. Not my mother, not my father. Hmm. But it's me, oh Lord. And these words, amen, amen, and amen.